Imagine what your life would be like if you could pick it. You could go down a list and choose where you'd grow up. You could pick out the parents you really wanted and select the best life you thought possible. Well, as you've probably figured out by now, life doesn't work that way. All of those things are completely out of our control. But you are given a choice that can literally change the course of your life and determine your success. You get to choose your friends. You get to pick those people who are the greatest influences in your life. Just ask Sean Alexander, record-setting running back and 2005 NFL MVP for the Seattle Seahawks. He wouldn't be the awesome football player he is today without the influence of Christian friends. Football came in from my brother and my best friend uh, talking me in the plan. Basically, you know, I'm just a big couch potato and like to sit around the house eating junk food, Doritos, M&Ms, drinking lemonade. But they talked me in the plan and uh, God's blessed me from it. And the thing is, God will use things and people that, that just really don't make sense. But God uses things that will glorify Him to take over. There's going to be things in your life that you go through, but if you jump in 100% with Christ, he will make you the best at it. He will make you the king of it. He will bless your life far more than what you ever imagined. Derwin Gray was a defensive back for the Indianapolis Colts, but he experienced a very different situation from Sean. Derwin went through the first part of his life without the influence of Christian friends, and he almost didn't make it. Growing up in my community, we didn't really have the best role models. I can't remember many of my friends having fathers who actively participated in their lives. Even now, many of the, the, the young men that I grew up with are dead or in prison. I remember talking to my grandmother when I was 14, and I, I said, you know, I don't want to live a life in which uh, drugs and alcohol and those things are dominating my life. But the environment was very high pressure with, with crimes, with drugs, and just seeing that culture all around you. But God had his hand on Derwin and he brought a very special and unusual Christian friend into his life when he needed one the most. I basically lived my whole life distance from everybody, living on the surface and not really enjoying true relationships. And I didn't understand that ultimate relationships comes from knowing God. But in 1993, when I was drafted by the Colts, there was a guy on the team that was different. He was a, a linebacker for us. And his ritual every day after practice would be to get his Bible and then walk to teammates' lockers systematically and ask them this profound question. With his gold tooth, he would go and then he'd go, do you know Jesus? It's your choice. You can choose friends who will help you or you can choose friends who can hurt you. The Bible says that it's not about how many friends you have, but who they really are inside. Sean Alexander learned that in college when some of his teammates came to him after a big win. They were like, okay, we're gonna go out, we're gonna party, we're gonna take you and get you drunk, we're gonna get you some girls and et cetera, et cetera. It's really easy to go with the crowd, especially when their offer is so tempting. But God says two things about temptation. First, temptations will come. Second, he will always give you a way out. And many times that way out is through your Christian friends. One of my buddies came to me and said, yeah, you know, uh, one of the other guys told me you got your scripture now. I was like, oh, yeah. He said, what is it? Psalms 37.4. Delight yourself in the Lord. He'll give you the desires of your heart. And I thought, oh, my goodness. That was the first time I really gave everything to God and just said, okay, this is going on. I'm really with you now, you know. And God was like, okay, well, watch what I show you. You know, watch what I do to your life. And that just turned me on even more. The Bible says that if the world is your friend, then God is your enemy. That's a pretty harsh statement, but if you look at things around you, you can see that it's totally true. Worldly things can harm you, but God wants the best for you. To win against the world, you need God and plenty of Christian friends on your team. As an NFL player, the way we won the game is by having teammates who wanted the team to come first. In other words, all the players had one goal, and that goal was to win the game and be the best player that they could be by helping their teammates. Well, the same thing goes for our friends. Do we have friends that draw us to God or draw us away from God? God desires for us to have teammates or friends that draw us to Him so that we could be about His purposes, the ultimate goal. And what is that goal? That goal is to change the world by Jesus living through us, and you and I get a privilege to do that.